Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic. We are back in Stranglethorn today on the Priest and we're working on Special Forces. Which means we're back in Curzon's compound. Now that many of his regular troops are reduced, you must face his highly trained forces. When they're not in the wilderness slaughtering our rebel soldiers, they are found deep in the back of the Curzon compound, in a cave that they call the Stockpile. I know many of Curzon's troops personally, and I know they are skilled, loyal, and cruel. This is no easy task I set before you. After you defeat them, return to Lieutenant Doran, my commanding officer. He will want your report firsthand. So we are here at the Stockpile. Oh shit, all these guys are stealth. Obviously I was in here a little bit earlier. Uh, the place had been cleared out at that time by another group of players, so I wasn't able to make a lot of progress. But now it seems that everyone has respawned. We're still really hurting for a new wand. That is a stun of some kind, okay. And he's the next one. Ah, uh, there's one right here. It's hard to say if they're going to pull together or separately. Well, thankfully they didn't pull together. Yeah, you see, the thought of just wanding the enemies down without really casting Smite or any other spells outside of our opener, it's getting untenable. We're not really taking enemies down very efficiently with that method, so I'm going to have to throw at least one, maybe two Smites out I can't cast until we get a significant wand upgrade. That's probably just going to be what we have to do. Otherwise, it just it just draws combat out for way too long, in my opinion. And with Spirit Tap, our, our mana regen should still be pretty adequate, even if we're casting one or two smites per encounter. These two are definitely going to come together, right? No, he stayed put. That's shocking. I guess that person didn't need the head shrinkers, but we do. As you go further back into this cave, I think the types of enemies changes, so it's likely that we'll have to come back in here again at some other point. There are Curzon Elites way back there, and some other type. But there were definitely Curzon Elites, and the enemies themselves were not elite enemies, but that was their name, Curzon Elites. Jungle Remedy, why do I feel like... Do we need that for a future quest? For some reason that item name is really familiar to me. He seemed very confused back there as to what he should do. I need to get closer. And he didn't alert this stealth guy at all. Lucky us. But pulling this guy pulled the pulled the medicine man or the head shrinker. That's interesting. Uh, we can deal with it though. But now without taking some damage, apparently that stun is quite nasty. And now we're shrunk. Reduces strength and stamina by 10. And look at us, we're actually physically smaller now. They have actually shrunk us down. I think he's he was the first one to run away. That's a long time. 
to reduce those stats by that much. Two minutes. We just need commandos now. How many head shrinkers will we have to fight to get them? At least this one. Yeah, see, down that way are the elites. And those are not commandos, and they're not who we need. I'll try to continue going this way. I really like when you're doing something as basic as a kill quest, and they have you go into... A, a different area that's not just walking around on the outside world just killing things in a field. I like having to go into different kinds of cave systems. In Duskwood we had the catacombs there that were really interesting. Oh, we got both of them. Andy resisted our Shadow Word Pain. stun again. I love that when he chose to run away, he chose to run towards us and past us. I mean, I get that they're panicked, but when you panic, do you usually run at the person who's trying to kill you? Maybe, if you were trying to attack them, but that guy was just running. Okay, that's all we need. Oops. And then I want to try to do Venture Company Mining, get our Singing Blue Crystals. I think we saw these guys. Um, there's a mine somewhere over here, or like a mountainside that they were along. Maybe it's all the way back here to the north. So let's go over there and we'll investigate that. Ooh, no, we don't need you. You can go ahead and run around all willy-nilly and probably alert other guys, but we'll be gone by then. Not sure who this turns into. Special forces. Uh, it might be up in Refuge Point, actually. We might want to head up there first. Or oh, the rebel camp. Did I call it Refuge Point? Yeah, I, I've been in Arathi recently. So yeah, let's go up to the rebel camp and we'll turn that in. We also have Raptor Mastery. I, I just can't remember where these Raptors were at. It's possible that they're in the only uncovered area of the map that we have remaining because I haven't seen them anywhere else. I remember them being green, if I'm not mistaken, and I haven't seen any green raptors. Uh, somebody didn't loot their panther, and I take offense to that because it means that I can't skin it. But at the same time, they probably had a bag full issue, and I can empathize with that.
There's the turn-in. Lieutenant Doran. Let's see if there's a follow-up. He's got some pretty cool looking armor. King's honor, friend. For like really basic stuff, it looks really good. Sergeant Yoa trusted your abilities, and I trust her. The defeat you brought to Kirsten's forces is almost too much to hope for. I had feared we rebels were alone, and alone we could never stand up against the Colonel's brilliance. Perhaps hope of our survival yet remains. You've proven yourself time and time again, and your resourcefulness seems to rival even that of Curzon himself. You may be the salvation of our band of rebels, if you could pit yourself against Curzon and prevail. He commands his men from deep within the stockpile. You must enter that cave, brave through his defenders, and face Curzon and his leaders. Alright, well, is this going to be an actual group quest? We know the Curzon elites are not actually elites. The sub-chiefs, we don't know. Or the Alliance. Let's just take a look. Yeah, that's going to be an elite quest. Could see if we can find a group for it real fast. Quite a few people in the zone, but that does not mean that there's quite a few people who need the quest. Getting these elite quests done is sometimes quite a challenge if you're just naturally looking for other people out in the world who need them as well. Obviously grabbing some guildies to come help you with a quest is one thing. Definitely a possibility, but then just finding people organically playing the game who need the same quest you do, it just seems like obviously the longer Classic has been out, the more difficult that has become. I used to think it was because I primarily played in the mornings, which is not a very popular time to play, I can imagine. Now that I'm playing a lot in the evenings, I'm encountering the same issues. It's tough life for someone who pugs. Let's go over here to the far north and west. And we'll see if we can find these other goblins that we need for the singing blue crystals. Because it doesn't look like we're going to get a group for Colonel Curzon right now. I wonder if we can get up this cliff over here. Since we kind of missed the entrance. And I think they were just right up against the mountains. I remember seeing goblins over here that were higher level than us when we were here fighting the panthers and the tigers. So I'm assuming those are the guys that we are looking for now. I'm hoping they're not much higher level than we than 37. We're getting close to 38. I'm pretty excited. I'm very cautiously optimistic about our gold situation. We have 81 gold. We're going to have some abilities that we have to train at 38. So we're going to need to start making a little bit more gold. But at the same time, we're not nearly as broke as the warrior was. <laughs> Uh, when the warrior got to this level, we had basically no hope of getting a mount at 40. And I think we have hope, guys. We need like 19 or 20 golds. I think we can do that. It's possible that when this character hits 40, he'll be able to go buy a mount and get the training for it. And we'll feel what it's like to move 60% faster than we are moving now. Which will probably make a huge difference in both finishing this zone and in all future content that we do. So keep your fingers crossed for me. But I'm, I feel like we can do it.
these have to be the guys. They're miners, we're looking for crystals. It's perfect. Why can't these guys get their own little unique cave system? You know what I mean? It would just be must, much more interesting if we had to navigate um, some kind of cavern or catacombs or mine when we're fighting, when it's just a kill quest. Because otherwise we're just kind of standing here pulling them to us. It makes sense when you're hunting like wildlife and stuff, I guess. Uh, it's going to be out in the open. These guys are mining. Like, how much mining do you really do just in the grass on a hill? I've never seen anybody really mine that way. Usually you got to go a little deeper. Oh, uh, we got two of them. That's still recharging. See, these guys are green though, they're level 34, and the quest was an orange quest. What if these aren't the guys? We should find out pretty soon. We'll kill a bunch, we'll see if any of them drop it. Look at this guy, Rock, and the purple eyes. It's an interesting look. Do they all have purple eyes? Hmm. It looks like they're all probably like that. Oh, we have two of them again. That was probably a dumb idea. It's too far away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was a dumb idea. Let's, uh, let's book it out of here. It's a shame because this, this guy is probably gonna die if we can... Maybe we get a mind blast off on him. Oh, there we go. And what about this guy? The other two dropped. I think we can handle this guy. That worked out okay. We're out of mana now, but we survived. We were able to kill two of the four that we pulled. That's not bad. That ability isn't ready yet. Not bad at all. I don't think these guys are the guys that we need. Despite that the quest kind of makes us believe that they could be. Near the crystal vein mine to the north. Hmm. I wonder... It would be north of Booty Bay, which doesn't mean that it has to be all the way up here. This is an ogre mound. This is Curzon's compound. We know that they're not back there. It could be over here somewhere, or it could be this, which would be north of Booty Bay. Let's uh, take a look around here. Oh no, this is going to unveil some kind of troll city, right? This is not going to reveal some kind of mine system with goblins. Uh, but we'll go over here anyway. We'll also take on another couple of these guys. But we can agree that we're not at a mine. So I think expecting these guys to have the item is probably a little misguided. Now that we've talked through it. They just obliterated our power word shield though. Let's just not pull the tiger too. We don't need that right now. Let's Let's back up. Well, hello there. Let's back up a little more, I'd say. I can't do that yet. I 
need a target. It's been interesting for me to try to in this slump from level that's been from level 30 till now and is going to continue for who, who knows how long it's been interesting in this slump that i've had to kind of combat the urge to to roll another alt you know and a lot of that is because sometimes i have time to record that i can't really use with this character because there's just nothing interesting some of the time uh, honestly, a lot of the things that are going on at this level are really far apart. I thought this would be two quests that we could do that would be relatively close together, that we could string together in a, in a semi-interesting way. But that's not the case, it doesn't seem, and that's not the case of hardly any quest in this level range. And so a lot of the time that I've been leveling, I've, I've been doing it off recording just on my own. A lot of that has been fighting random animals in the wilderness to try to sell their bits. Some of it has been coll uh, collection quests like for yeti fur and turtle meat and, and things that are just genuinely 100% just boring. And spread out. So when, when you have a few quests and some of them are main quests but some of them are just innocuous side quests. It's okay when that happens, when they're they're close together and you're doing a couple of quests at a time always. But when you're doing one quest at a time in an area, you really start to feel uh, just that big slowdown that happens in the game. And it's possible that there isn't a big bounce back from that slowdown until, until the Burning Crusade Classic, I guess. It's interesting because the leveling process in vanilla you never had that again, where you would hit giant lulls in leveling. There were no other expansions where that occurred. Even in Burning Crusade, I would say you're you're not even going to finish all the zones uh, content in, in Burning Crusade. You're probably going to leave quest in Blade Ridge or in, um, I can't remember, the purple area. Uh, there were just areas that you would you'd hit max level and there would still be quests to do and that's definitely not really the case uh, in vanilla. Although it seemed it was designed you know in that way so that you really had to do every quest or do a bunch of grinding either in dungeons or out in the world and you just have to you have to scrounge for quests. I can't cast that. And in every subsequent expansion, we never really experienced that again. I'm collecting all these pages, but this is one quest that I usually don't complete. Um, it is something that's almost, it seems like it's almost designed, obviously, just to eat up bag space in this zone where there's so much already that you want to be picking up and selling at a vendor. You're fighting all kinds of different things. Um, and you have to do a lot in between, you know, going back to towns. So it's always seemed like a trick, like, hey, do this quest, collect a million things, and then you, you can hang on to them, let them fill your inventory, or you can try to get back to town and you can mail them off to an alt. Like, there's things you can do, but it just seems like so it's always been such a pain of a quest. And then I remember the one time we did complete it, we ended up having to buy a couple of pages off the auction house. Uh, that we just, we didn't find. So, probably not doing that quest. Now, as for the goblins, we can only really assume that they could be back here. It's more likely that that they're here. This says Mistvale Valley, but there's a, there's a cave entrance here. And I'm wondering if that could be it. So, I think I will take us down there. And at least that way we can find out. Alright, we are almost to the cave. Um, man, is it painful having to run the length of this zone without a mount. It's almost like punishment that they make you come here and start here at least before you have a mount. It's almost like it's priming you to want to do that grind. It's The game is telling you, look how bad it is. To have to run through this world. <laughs> don't you want a mount? Don't you want to save up that sweet mount money so you don't have to do this anymore? Well, you have to do it. And you can do it 60% faster at least. Um, yeah, it's it's quite a slog. Oh, this is a spirit den. 
So we've searched known caves. Um, and unless there's like a bunch of goblins hiding in here, there's not. Just witch doctor Umbagwa. Umbagwa, hello. Relax. Who you be? Uh, who you be? Hello, man. What you want? I'm over this. Mm -hmm. Be cool, man. No, you too. The spirit's not amused. That be unnecessary. Hey there. The, s the spirits are not amused. No, I'm not amused either. Where are my goblins at? I guess over here could be an option, but how many caves could there be? 